Hi there! It's me, Teacher JR. Are you ready for another exciting day of learning? Come and join me as we explore the fascinating world of science. Can you identify the parts of the respiratory and circulatory systems? Great! On a piece of paper, write numbers 1 to 10 and try to name the parts that are missing. Are you ready? You have 20 seconds to do that. Let's go! It's time to check your answers. 1. Nasal cavity 2. Pharynx 3. Larynx 4. Lung 5. Diaphragm 6. Trachea 7. Bronchioles 8. Heart 9. Artery and 10. Vein Did you get them all? Very nice! Do you have a friend who has smoking habits or a family member whose lifestyle involves smoking? Did you know that cigarette smoking or exposure to smoke is one cause of death and illness in our country? On your left side are healthy lungs, while on your right side are unhealthy ones. Which of the two pictures do you think represents a smoker's lungs? You're definitely right! It's the picture on your right side. Now ask yourself, which lungs do you have? In today's lesson, you are going to answer the following questions. 1. What are the habits that you should practice in order to take care of your respiratory and circulatory systems? 2. How can lifestyle affect the functioning of the respiratory and circulatory systems? Lifestyle is a way of living that includes the habit, behavior, and living style condition of a person. Habits or lifestyle conditions like cigarette smoking can be harmful to health and might cause serious respiratory and circulatory health problems. What are other habits or lifestyle conditions that can affect these two important organ systems of our body? Do habits and lifestyles really affect the circulatory and respiratory systems? Let us find out! What are the activities or habits you should or shouldn't do to take care of your respiratory and circulatory systems? Now, I want you to study and analyze the pictures or illustrations I will be showing you. Tell me whether or not the pictures show a good habit or healthy lifestyle. On a piece of paper, write check if the picture shows a healthy lifestyle and write X if not. Are you ready? Let's go! Is it a check or an X? Nice! Let's proceed to picture number 2. Oh, that's an easy one. What is your answer? Terrific! Let's have the third picture. Hmm, I wonder if it's a check or an X. Very good! Now here's another one. What could be that picture mean? Fantastic! Let us see the last picture. Does the picture show a healthy lifestyle? Exactly! Did you answer them all correctly? If yes, you really did a good job! Remember that your daily activities or lifestyle conditions have significant impact on the functions of your respiratory and circulatory systems. Now, 
I will be showing you several sets of pictures. All four pictures in each set show negative ways of living. They are connected by one common word that indicates the effect of one's lifestyle on the functioning of the respiratory and circulatory systems. Can you identify the illnesses that are brought about by these negative lifestyle conditions? Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Are you excited? Let's get started! What could be the answer for this item? Did you get it right? Good job! Hmm, I wonder what the pictures mean. Nice one! What condition can you associate with these pictures? You're right! Several lifestyle choices can affect a person's risk for developing respiratory and circulatory diseases. Negative lifestyle weakens your system while healthy lifestyle leads to complete wellness. Vices, stressful environments, and unhealthy eating habits can cause various diseases, specifically of the respiratory and circulatory systems. We are now experiencing a global health crisis as the coronavirus disease continuously infects millions of people, partially shuts down economies and disrupts education systems around the world. As a student, what can you do to prevent the spreading of this highly contagious disease? 1. Wear a face mask at all times. 2. Wash your hands more frequently. 3. Clean and disinfect. And lastly, avoid contact with sick people and observe social distancing measures. And that concludes our lesson for today. Good job, dear students! I enjoyed being with you and I hope that you learned a lot from this video lesson. Again, this is Teacher JR and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye!